But I have another exciting question from somebody, a young person from in the crowd, in the audience. What is the message for young people, high schooler, student, from your perspective, Brad, you said it's a great uh, career, for young people that want to inspire to go to space, to be part of the industry, to be maybe part of NASA, what's your message for them? I'm going to go a slightly different way and say that um, the industry has a lot of engineers um, and STEM is important. Kids, you know, take your science classes, but, you know, we need a lot of people with a lot of different backgrounds to make this industry happen. Um, as we develop more capabilities, we're not just going to need satellite engineers. We're going to need artists, business people, people that can manage in space hotels. Like there are a lot of jobs that are going to be happening that aren't your core aerospace engineering things. And we're already seeing shortages in people willing to do some of those jobs now. So you out there have a skill you can use it. It doesn't have to be engineering. Engineering's good. I have an engineering background. Like it's awesome. But if you're not an engineer, that doesn't mean you can't be in the industry. There are so many opportunities that currently exist and that will exist. And I would say while you're still in school, get involved in networking like organizations, uh, students for the exploration and development of space SEDS uh, operates at the high school and college level. They have an international network. They're a great way to get into the industry. Um, and again, if you are not an engineer, you can still provide tremendous value to the industry. So use your skills, use what you're good at, and find a way to use that to impact the industry. My liberal so, degree and I completely agree with you. <laughs>